Here is how you can get insane SMS delivery rates and call answer rates. Stop having your phone number coming up as spam. Stop having carriers block your texts. Yes, this is a real thing. Think you're sending out tons and tons of SMSs, but actually it turns out that you might be sending them and paying for them, but the people you're sending them to are not receiving them. <gasps> Nightmare. So this is how we're gonna do it. High Level have just today launched an integration to enable to do this on their lead connector phone system. So Twilio, bye bye. Um, now, I give you a tip and a secret. If you're still on Twilio, if you're using Twilio, um, then you can do all of this already within Twilio. Um, but if you're on the lead connector phone system, which is cheaper and you don't have to worry about the headache of finding all the right places within Twilio and the nightmare of navigating through that, then you can just do this here straight within the lead connector phone system. I'm gonna take you through it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you exactly what I've done. I'm gonna show you the stuff that the help documents are not showing in how to do it. We've had to go through it, find it all out ourselves. Now, they just dropped this a couple of hours ago. We've gone through it, we've sorted it out, and I'm gonna give you a live example. Now, if this is useful to you, please like, share, follow, subscribe, all of that good stuff to this YouTube channel. Um, that would be great. Um, and if it's not useful, then no problem. And uh, um, let's just dive straight into it. So you're going to do this at the sub account level. You need to do this for every single sub account that you're doing. There is no bulk process in, in anywhere. Now, for most of you, each sub account is gonna be a different client and in time, hopefully, we're gonna be able to get clients to come do this. Um, if you come to settings and then phone numbers, you're now gonna to start to see new stuff up here like the regu regulatory bundle uh, address. This is more stuff that if you're uh, in countries where you need that to be able to get a phone number. But there's also the toll-free number registration. Let's move my head down here and let's make it just a little bit smaller too. Toll-free number registration, you can go through that here. Um, and, and you can verify your toll-free numbers. Now, you really should be. If you're using a, you know, an 877 and 888 number, that sort of thing, you really ought to do this because this is going to allow um, this to get through. And without this, we are seeing carriers blocking our texts. And they're doing it specific text. So it's, some text will get through and some won't. Um, some language is working, some isn't. So do this and go and find. If you find that you are having stuff blocked and you have found that particular description, put that particularly in your production message content here. So you, you, you're, you're, you're gonna come through here. It's fairly self-explanatory. Business name, email, phone number, website, monthly volume. You can just make this up if you know what it is. Uh, put that in there. The actual toll-free number, the address, then the use case description. And if you come over here, it, it tells you how you use it. For example, with sending notifications and promotions and coupons. You know, you can type in something like um, um, clients opt in um, on ads to find out about getting a mortgage um, with us. We then send them information um, that they have asked for. Then take one of your actual actual messages and uh, and put that in here. Now, if you have one that you know is um, getting kicked out by carriers, put that in. Um, give them that. Say this is a legitimate message that they've opted in for. Then you've got to put your opt in information here. So, for instance, let's say they're coming in on a Facebook lead ad. Um, then you can say that um, they specifically opt in on Facebook uh, on a lead ad where they are told um, that we will be reaching out to them on the number that they have put there. And then go and find your Facebook lead ad, for example. Take a screenshot of it and show that because on Facebook, on the lead ad, it does put terminology under the specific bit where they put their phone number in, for example. If you've got this on a, a landing page or form, you know, show where you've got that that um, that opt-in information and, and put that in there, give them the proof so you can get verified. So that's how we do it for toll free. Now, let's jump to Trust Center. Trust Center is a uh, um, new piece and in order to do any of the next bit, you've got to do the business profile. So you can see that it says in review here, so I've done this here already, but I'm gonna, um, so I don't share um, some uh, pertinent information this account. I've got a test account where I'm gonna, so it doesn't show you where to do this. You, 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 you hit this and it just doesn't work and you don't know why. Um, now, firstly, when you have some um, filter and then there's nothing up here that says business profile information, where do you submit it? Um, so anyway, eventually we found it. It's this business profile over here at the top of settings. Um, this is where you go to and you need to fill out all the general information need to fill out all the business physical address. Now this bit's important here, uh, legal legal business name, you need to put whatever it is, we're gonna have to submit our EIN. And so whatever 
exactly word for word, letter for letter, it says on uh, Amazon Link to you, Ian, because they they do a search, not not high level. They pass this information on, but a search is done on your entity name and your EIN, and they need to match. Um, so you need to get this word for word, letter for letter correct in here. Then there is an authorized representative bit here. You have to fill this in. So this is probably you. Just just make it you. Just put 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 that in there. It can be your client too if you're getting getting clients to come and, and fill it in. But whoever it is, whoever's the the main contact, just put this here. And then and don't forget each time update information, update information. Um, here you're going to come and put this in. And this bit's imp important here um, that you need to pick your your ID type. That we're getting so you know your EIN your Dun & Bradstreet number you know uh, different types if you're in some of these other key countries and put that in remember they come back to this bit here and match it so please 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 match that and uh, and, and and this here exactly and then where you operate update that once you've updated all of that then you can come back here and you hit submit for view now I went to click it, I'd submitted that, and it will come up with an error message. So if this bit hasn't completed, then you need to go back and work out which bit you missed or whatever it is there. Um, and then I clicked it, but nothing would happen. I found that I then had to click somewhere in this box somewhere else and then click here again, and then it would go through. So now this is in review. It says it should take 24 hours. Now, next bit, and let's start going through this together. Next bit, uh, let's, let's talk through these different bits. This is... A2P brand and campaign registration for SMS. So this is carriers filtering um, our, our messages for SMS sent to the US only via 10 digit long code numbers. Um, so this is um, for SMS delivery and to stop them being filtered. This, These other two here, which are coming soon, these are gonna be really cool. So you're gonna want to do these two. This basically makes sure you're calls get through and get your your answer rate you get you get a good rating and again it's it but think of this as filtering for text messages think of this as filtering for phone calls and then think of this that when the phone rings instead of it saying you know uh uh eight eight five eight one two three one two three four as a phone number it says um alistair's business it says um Loans from John, it says whatever, and you can actually have that come up. So that's super cool as well. And again, people that are expecting that are more likely to answer rather than um, screening a call and not recognizing the number as well. So these are gonna be cool. These are due to come out this quarter still. So by the end of the year, um, they're planning to have this out. This whole piece came out considering the time it went from flash to bang to having this out super, super fast. Now, um, you know, let's bear in mind that the goalposts keep changing. This is not high level imposing this. This is high level trying to get solutions um, when when Twilio are coming up with uh, um, different issues that we do. And again, it's not Twilio. It's there again, caught in the middle. It's all these carriers and registration bodies and all that sort of thing that basically don't want all of the spam issues that are happening on email to come into the phone system. So they're working hard and they're changing their goalposts and we're all having to react. It's a high level, done a great job. Um, so here, we're gonna hit start registration here. Now it's gonna cost us, it's gonna cost us a small bit of money um, that we can send 441 a month, uh, low volume standard registration for up to 6,000 segments per day. Um, so unless you're a very high volume sender, that's basically what's gonna cost and you're gonna get verified business communication with this. And then there'll be a campaign fee will uh, apply per month um, as well. And again, we're just having this passed on to us. This is basically what what it's costing. Um, I don't think high level are making anything out of this. So let's go next. So uh, we're gonna do a campaign use case. So we're low volume mixed recommended, yeah, because otherwise I don't just wanna send marketing. I don't just want to send security alerts or education or delivery notification. I'm going to send a few different things, right? So I'm just going to be upfront and I'm going to tell them I'm sending different things and they're recommending that. So if they're recommending that, then then that's great. Okay, now we're going to come into a campaign use case description. Um, so we've got an, an example here. This campaign sends one-time passcodes to the end users when they try to log into our company website. So let's put a campaign use description um, in here. Um, let me just pause while I, while I just put one in. Okay, so I've just been short, sharp to the point, haven't gone into too much detail. We notify end users that have opted in to receive communication about their membership. So this is for us in the Profit Pact. Um, so, you know, this is, it's fairly straightforward. It's saying, and, you know, about their membership. So I'm being specific that, you know, we're, we're communicating with members here, but we could, you know, talk about, um, for instance, if we were running ads or, or 
um, something like that. Again, if we were working for a loan officer, you know, we notify end, end users that have opted in to receive communication uh, um, about mortgages, about the mortgage information that they have requested, um, something like that. Okay, so let's hit next. And so now we're going to have some sample messages. We're going to do sample messages one, sample messages two. I'm actually now, um, I'm going to pause this very quickly. I'm going to go and grab some real live messages that we sent. Let's not try to game the system too much because we'll get caught out later on if we are. I'm going to go and grab a couple of real live memberships um, that we, that uh, um, real live messages that we sent. And I'm going to paste them in here. So back in one second. Okay, so I pasted a couple of genuine actual messages. Hey, first name, this is Alistair. I notice you haven't completed the day five check-in. Takes one minute. Can you do it here? And then this is where we have a trigger link. So I just did a link. Hey, first name, this is Alistair. I just emailed you info about the profit pack. Did you get it? Might be in your spam. I'll pick this one particularly because it's got the word spam in. I want to make sure that this gets through. Um, now, the message will include an embedded link. Yes, I'm, I, 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 I do have a link. And we'll include phone numbers. I might well have phone numbers. I'm just gonna, gonna tick them so I can get that through. And here we go. Gonna hit hit next. Um, uh, and now we've got to do this. Um, how do end users consent to receive messages? And we've got an example and opt-in keywords and uh, opt-in message. So again, let me just quickly complete that and we'll go through that. Okay, so I've just said here, end users opt in by filling out forms either on ads by texting us. Uh, by texting us or filling out a form where they have requested the information. Now, I've done this on Twilio previously um, before it came here in Lead Connector, and I wasn't asked for opt in keywords or opt in messages. I didn't, I got, I got through without having to put that in. Um, so I'm just going to, these are optional, so I'm just going to leave those blank, uh, and then I'm going to hit submit, and this is going to worth submitting. Um, there, it's submitted, it can take up for seven days to get approved and link to your phone number and the status will update soon. Um, so that's how we do it. And again, we're in review and we're pending. Now, when I've done it on Twilio, it's come back pretty quickly. And on occasions, it's come back and it's and it's failed and I've put in a help ticket and they've helped, they've helped me fix it. So uh, I'm assuming and hoping that Lead Connector will be the same. And so if you come back and it, it fails, you don't get registered, there's probably just some small little thing you have to tweak. Um, and we just have to go back and forth with support a couple of times to, um, to get that, you know, maybe the, your EIN and your exact business name didn't link up, or they um, you, they needed a tiny bit more information or, or on on something. So it's it's all achievable stuff, and it can all be done. It's as simple as that. This is going to make sure that your SMSs get through to people, and then when this comes on, that your phone calls will, and that this going to come from your business name. So I recommend that you do this. Um, now it's, this isn't currently uh, open for. Uh, everybody to um, complete properly uh, through clients, um, but you can get your clients to come back. Remember to that 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 uh, oh, uh, wrong wrong place. Um, you can get. Uh, let me let me flick to the right place. One second. Here we go. You can get your clients to come in to settings in the business profile, complete all of these bits. And if you can get them to complete all of these bits, then you can submit that for review the business profile, and then you can come and do um, this part for them as well. Um, so definitely recommend you jumping in. Definitely recommend you doing this. Yes, when you get here, there is a slight cost, but isn't it worth it if you're sending out all these texts? Isn't it worth it to make sure that they actually get through? You're being charged for them, whether they get through or not. Wouldn't, isn't it worth paying a few bucks more and actually make sure that they get through? Uh, um, you put all that all that work into it in the first place. So highly recommend this. If this is useful, if you like this, um, then please uh, like the video, give us a comment, subscribe to it. And if you are not part of the Profit Pact, then please go check out theprofitpact.com, uh, theprofitpact.com. So we're here in the Profit Pack. Don't forget to put in the word the, uh, theprofitpack.com. You'll come here. You'll be able to um, text us, join our Facebook group, grab our free course. Um, you'll see a bunch of testimonials and, and videos about all of this. As you know, we've got a video up here, uh, another um, some testimonials video, video down here. We'll tell you what you get if you want. If you are not on SaaS, if you want to be a SaaSpreneur, if you want to be a profitpreneur and build. From scratch, even if you've got no experience, never used high level before, or even if you have, but if you want to build and scale your own SaaS business, this is all for free. You 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 upgrade into the high level SaaS plan, you will get this for free, um, all of it. Um, this is stuff that um, this is more comprehensive than the people that are selling stuff for two grand or more. Uh, we give you everything all for free. There's multiple multiple courses you can scroll down, you can look at all, uh, and then. 
as well as just the tech stuff and all the snapshots that come with it. There's no point in being awesome on tech, having all those snapshots, if you can't sell it. So we come in and there's not one, but there's two sales courses, there's all kinds of things, there's um, level up snapshots, there's um, support portal, um, there's reactivation snapshot as well. In fact, we've got to update because this actually says coming soon, I better go and update that because that's part of it, it's already there. Um, uh, online scheduling, uh, doc signatures, and there's a whole bunch of bonuses as well. You get all of this, get all this stuff, all for free. Um, so come come check it out if you're interested in, in, in um, starting with high level or upgrading to, to, to SaaS, or if you never know what high level is, come in here, you can get all of this uh, and we will take care of you. And then make sure you do what we've just taken you through um, for SMS as well um, and, and coming up for the, the phone numbers as well. This is hot new stuff, very important. Make sure your texts get through and I will see you all next time. Have an awesome day.